Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Welcome to my channel. Please do me a favor, like and subscribe where I'll be bringing daily videos to you. So today, how can a love bomb bring so much destruction? In the beginning of the relationship, it is so exciting. Everything is going perfect. You're showered with affection, uh, adoration, gifts, travel, restaurant, dates, and they have so much interest in you. And then all of a sudden, it clicks off within the blink of an eye what happened now narcissists tend to be extremely empty people uh, they don't feel like the average person does they don't see things the same way so there's no reasoning with a narcissist no matter how logical it seems no matter how much you describe it from different angles they're empty inside they can't relate to it they may put a facade up where they kind of go along with things or they agree or they apologize they're just learned words they they don't feel it from the depth of their soul so in the beginning everything is amazing and it's a feeling that is so intoxicating that you at any cost almost want to get that feeling back because it is so euphoric so when the lights go out start get gas uh, gaslighting disvaluing you it can be over the simplest little thing something you don't even recognize something that he feels you did wrong or you're not living up to his ex expectations because my ex narcissistic guy <laughs> even said you don't get it it's all about me even my kids and my current girlfriend they know it's all about me and the way he would talk when we would almost break up it was like you can't leave me you won't do it and I'm like at my edge where I'm like yeah no I'm telling you I can and that's when I would get the okay I'll call you tomorrow but it wouldn't be until I was this close to saying goodbye forever so you could do everything right just trying to get that love bomb back just the attention the respect just being treated like a normal human being whether it was a friend or a lover to just have the acknowledgement of any common human being and you would go to great lengths because it would you would ache for it um, based on the different chemicals in our brain it is technically like an addiction the withdrawal that you go through sometimes if you've been in a long-term relationship marriage it can be physically devastating and consume your thoughts which consumes your life how you handle things at work how you clean your house or your car how much time you spend with people are you moping around are you withdrawing from your friends and it's all at the cost of just trying to get back something that wasn't even real where they can just walk away in the blink of an eye it's mind-boggling how you can have something for nearly two decades and then all of a sudden they, they have no second thought about it they'll lie to you or they'll shut you out of their lives no matter how much you cry no matter how sad you are they don't even respond until you're about to break ties forever that's where the hoovering comes in um, and they that got that name from like the Hoover vacuum they try to suck you back in so they'll hoover you when they think that they're losing you they might give in to you maybe if they think they're really about to lose you a lot of times they, they, they don't really care it's just a supply what you offered them it's not your personality it's not how pretty you are it's just the supply you give them the the ego stroke so when they ignore you they have their ego stroke because you're crying missing them telling them all these sweet things doing whatever you can to get them back and that is such an ego boost to them and they just love to do the love bombing I don't I don't even know for sure if they know what they're doing but they are latching on they are latching on strong and sometimes they do try to be faithful it's only for a short time or if their definition of faithful is I can only see you once every two months but it's not a lifelong commitment to the new supply and they're gonna start gaslighting that person changing the way they think they're gonna the new supply is going to start questioning things and things will start to self-destruct for the narcissist they're going to start losing control they're going to start whether it's rage or controlling you in certain ways getting you to do things making you feel guilty everything's your fault it's all about them and just how 
mind-blowing that was that he literally said everybody in my life even my current girlfriend knows it's all about me it's all about me like most people might want that <laughs> nobody says that they don't say that and that's how deep the belief is that it is all about them so they don't like to be alone they need supply whether it's through large groups of friends they're usually very boisterous they do things to get attention not necessarily just to do them they're not bringing you flowers because they love you they're bringing you flowers because they want your reaction to feed their supply it's not a gift that's one, like one way usually when you give a gift you might hope for a, a thank you you don't really need it but for them that's the whole purpose in them giving you that gift is to feed their supply so love bombing can lead to the biggest destruction it can change your entire life because love bombing gets exhausting it gets expensive and once they feel that they have you that's when the de devaluing comes into effect they got you all right they can relax they can be themselves they can be selfish they can get what they want they don't have to put you on a pedestal anymore they can be them and you're gonna serve them and if you don't even if it's the smallest little thing they don't like confrontation so you start com com confronting them like why can't we go to my mom's for Christmas or whatever holiday and they're like not liking that kind of confrontation so either it'll be where they gaslight you and twist and turn things they don't answer questions directly which makes you feel even more confused because you're just trying to communicate with them it's a simple question and they take the twists and turns where it's so off subject or they turn it around on you that it's very hard to have a conversation that brings you closer at heart you might become closer by knowing each other but you're not closer at heart because the depth isn't there and how many years people have been stuck in this vicious cycle you finally get over them and then they'll hoover you they'll try to get you back because it's a power thing for them so as soon as they get you they're gonna put you back in that harem garage don't think you're the only one often there's more than one and the new supply don't don't give yourself a hard time the new supply is no better than you are it's just something easier something to start over where there's no issues but there will be issues and their lives are going to be destroyed too because they latch on to the weakest victim the one who's going to fulfill their needs the one who doesn't see what's coming and it's really easy just love bomb and it's so funny that uh, I read something on somebody saying that this one ex narc uh, for his new supply got all tatted up with her name on it he had two two X's on his body and I'm like oh my gosh like he just did that too like the ultimate love bomb you're mine forever baby but it was in a place you could cover up <laughs> it was strategically placed that you could cover it up so I just hope for your heart keep researching that's why I came onto YouTube is I've done a lot of learning and that love bombing stage is so addictive it is so addictive but it's so quickly turned off that it'll leave you devastated it'll affect your family relations your friends the things you do your motivation your energy and it can lead to the biggest destruction you have ever encountered and I don't blame you sometimes we do want that back almost at all cost but the cycle gets worse each time and I promise you that it gets worse each time they take more and more of you for granted and that love bombing usually doesn't reach that same height that it did before so just be glad you have those memories some people call it a lie just call it an experience love yourself just keep growing so I'll see you tomorrow
a good night.